Okay. Am I gonna get a, a nice mesh thing? Um, you have some Something. mesh. Oh no! High school fashion, baby. I really don't know how high schoolers dress these days. What's a septum? Ah. Uh, They're doing things that I still to this day am not confident enough to do. Are you ready? Damn. We have four amazing, diverse high school girls who sent in their dream vision of how they want their high school male counterparts to dress. And to bring their visions to life, we've brought in a designer who's gonna make us all hot. Oh yeah. Nothing like a bunch of 30 year old men getting dressed up by little girls. It's high school makeover time. How do high schoolers dress now? I don't know, they dress cool. Like Jack. Give me your Jack, get over here. They just wear like a lot more patterns, but everything's like tight. This is what high schoolers look like. He's got the cool hair that Ned's trying to have. It's a lot of like high-waisted hip type short things. He's got this like half tuck. I Every time I try to half tuck my shirt, I look like a moron. They do like the, the button all the way sometimes. They put things together that I just don't understand and I, I admire it in a lot of ways. I don't know, what are these old VHS tapes? I don't know what, you don't have to know what they are because they're hot. Explain to me how a cassette works, Jack. Go sit down. Today, when a trend happens, you immediately know what happens because of the internet. We didn't have that in the 2000s. We had to wait a year. By the time we wore it, it was not cool anymore. Jack has proved that high schoolers dress really well now. Or at least the ones who have the hair like that. <laughs> the way that I dressed in high school kind of existed up until like, two years ago, my jeans were always way too long. This was coming out of the days where baggy jeans were cool. I just didn't get the memo that everyone else had moved on. I wasn't cool enough to skateboard, so I wore the skateboarding clothes. And then I wasn't funny enough to be funny, so I put jokes on myself. All the things that I wanted to be but didn't know how to be because I was an insecure young twat. My style in high school was a lot of baggy polo shirts. I think it was because I was kind of skinny. Like if I wore a tight shirt, I would just look like a plucked chicken. But only recently after I got married, where Ariel would kind of help me find things that she found more attractive. So I wouldn't say I truly became fashionable until I was a 29 year old. Yeah, that was last year. Oh, I was a geeky nerd. I played French horn, played Magic the Gathering. It wasn't on brand for me to look good. I dressed real funny. I, I just dressed like outfits were meant to be jokes. It didn't seem like girls liked me, so I didn't want to give them a reason to. <laughs> it worked. I could say I succeeded at repelling all women for a long time in my life. I was kind of dressing in whatever I thought was stylish, which was highly dominated by a lot of Justin Timberlake going solo. I look back at my photos and I'm like, kill it with fire. I did not look cool. I wore a lot of scarves on t-shirts, a lot of man jewelry. One ring, one bracelet, dog tags. Dog tags were huge. We were all nerds in high school, and I think in the end we just want to look cool. So I know these girls are going to want to get their hands on us. Hi, I'm Andrea. Hi, Andrea. What's up, Zach? This is how she says to a lot of people. I'm gonna try and lock that in. Leah's glasses match her necklace. This is great. I love her hair color. Already a good sign. I'm gonna look at your high school pictures now. From the pictures I'm seeing, baggy pants, baggy shirt, baggy everything. Okay, I get it, Vina. I was baggy. Baggy, 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 baggy. This sizing, these pants, the length. Look at these pictures. Look at them. She's smiling, but she hates it. Oh, <laughs> no, I was not ready for this. Oh, no. I'm not digging the shoes. I just had one pair of shoes. There are shoes for everything, but not one pair for everything. I really like the second picture of him just admiring a glass cup. That's Thanksgiving. Why? <laughs> this is me on a plate. Wow, Keith, there's so much going on. Like, I really don't know what to say <laughs> at this point. When you walked in, whether it's a good or a bad way, you left me at a loss for words. Your clothes don't fit you well. I guess they might have been trendy during your time. <laughs> it just looks like you're trying to figure out who you are, but you don't really know. She's right. Yikes. Tank top and jeans flip-flop combo. The combo that we don't need to bring back into the world. Marley is so shady. I love it. The deep V paired with the gray vest. A true icon. I always applaud accessorizing. And you, you went there. That scarf, I would just say, don't ever do that again. Sorry, Marley. Yikes. I'm sorry. These looks that the high schoolers brought are gonna be really, really, really amazing. What my style is for you is 80s rock and roll. Sort of grunge direction. That's my style. 
and I wanted to portray my style onto yours. She wants rock and roll. I can do this. Like Cole Sprouse. Wait, Cole Sprouse from Zach and Cody? I'm gonna live that sweet life. He's very leather jacket and like messy stuff, messy hair. Zach's a bad boy. The style I chose for Ned was pretty spooky, to be honest. Spooky? I really wanted him to look straight out of a nylon magazine. She's gonna make me extra. I'm gonna do some oversized pieces, high waist, maybe a belt moment. Oversized, high waisted sounds like pajamas. Am I gonna be wearing pajamas? Um, denim pajamas? Still trying to achieve that artsy look for Ned. I could definitely stand to be a little more artsy. All of his hair is gonna be brushed to the front. I think hair says a lot about how a person wants to look. So I guess my hair says that I don't care about anything. Keith, um, the style we have chosen for you is a more refined, minimalistic, sweet chic look. Boy, there were seven adjectives in that. It still follows the current trend of high school guys, but with a more refined, grown-up taste. You are probably going to be the most fashion forward of the Try Guys today. Well, that um, is not normal. A lot of avant-garde is coming into trend. Brands like J.W. Anderson and Daniel Meister, Rick Owens, Dries Van Noten. Sure. The style I'm kind of looking for is more an androgynous queer fashion, as we see. Rainbow flag, right on. I wanted to have possibly more of a masculine clothing type, but have like makeup and hair. With her look, we are going all the way. Mm. I don't know how open Eugene is to dyeing his hair. Oh, well, not that open. <laughs> Damn. Are you ready? I think I want to have you try this on. Wow, a plastic jacket. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, a little pool moment. I'm going to start describing my clothes as moments. Everything is a moment. Oh my god, I'm having a moment. What's on the back? More scorpions, more wow, scorpions. Wow, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> We're trying to make my, my stupid outfit look like, oh, he's got a point here. He's trying to make. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Get the will of the Asian ancestors before you. We're good with little feet. Why do I feel like I'm about to invade Normandy? This is cooler than anything I own. And this is not because I need the glasses. No, this is strictly fashion. It's because I want the glasses. Exactly. Oh, I'm into this. A little Fender T. It has crosses fender. on it. It has crosses on it. You know it. I'm Jewish, right? So we might not go with this one. And I mean, if we removed all of this. Mm -hmm. Dumbledore! I'm just a, a traffic cone that tried to dress like a human. This is what people wear. I've seen <laughs> things like this in the store, but I'm just always afraid that my hairy body's gonna poke out of it in weird ways. Some people like hair. Some people, it's a choice. It's a moment. It is a moment. Vina wants you to look badass. She wants everyone to look badass. Exactly. And I just happen to be her palette that she's stuck with. Exactly. I'm excited for her vision because I think any vision is better than this. You need some help? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk on out of here. <laughs> Ned. What? Why'd you get on number five? I'm not telling. Keith, what'd you get on number five? Denisha. This is a math class. Oh, shit. We're losing this. We're losing that. Yes. Old Zach is dead. I hope you don't completely hate it. <laughs> but dang, he's bad boy, but he doesn't seem bad. And I have no doubt about you pulling it off. Welcome to the sweet life. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You look like a bad boy who lost 70 pounds. I'd give him my lunch money. Like, old Zach is me versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Nice meme reference. I love the jacket. I love the shirt. The rings are overwhelming to me. Is that a thing that I can start doing? Because I like this. I think Vina's version of you rocks this jewelry. I'm still handling the length of the pants. I got hot ankles. You really Cole sprouted up. Did Dylan die? Dylan went, no, he didn't die. Who are these people? There are pieces in this outfit that I either own or try to own. So like I'm on the right track. To being a high schooler. I look like the guy that would make out with your prom date, which is a nice role reversal because someone else made out with my prom date in front of me. Wow. Wait, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do you do That's that? Horrible. Let's talk about this. This is a very realistic version of a cool guy in high school today. I'm a bad boy. Bad boy. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> no. Bad boy. Uh, we need to stop this now. Hey, Keith. Yeah. You wanna join the Pen15 club? Yeah, I love the penis club. <laughs> you ever in a like Penn Island, penis land? <laughs> I think Ned is gonna be horrified in this look. Oh, God. Ah. We can mix the nose ring. No, 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 nose ring's <laughs> essential. And he's gonna have black nails because his style has a lot of ink, but I know he can pull it off.
School is meaningless. <laughs> God, what? Oh, wow. oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> you look great. From behind, I don't Thank know you. who you are. I just know I want to sleep with you. Get in line. <laughs> what, what is this attitude you've taken on? The hair is great. The septum piercing actually looks really yeah. good. The coat is gorgeous. And like, just the colors across the outfit are amazing. You look like a really hot, artistic, lesbian mom. Snaps yeah. to that. If you went to high school with me, though, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Let me be clear, Zach. I would definitely not be your friend. You do kind of suck now, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such a look I've never seen matched with nail polish on a guy, and it's incredible. Every item you're wearing, your wife could borrow. I'm a trendsetter. I certainly would never have chosen this for myself, but now that I see it, I really like it. I just can't wait to get into Oxford and start my real life. God, you, God, you suck so much, Edward. You suck so much. I bless you and I respect you. <laughs> Class dismissed. No, we are still got two makeovers. Are you done yet, Eugene? Done doing what? Breathing. Are you done yet? Done with what? Breathing. Breathing. Yeah. All right, you ready to get dressed up for school? I'm so ready. Honestly, you should feel badass and cool. What? The other guys are going to be so jealous. I think you could totally pull it off as long as you got the confidence and you feel great in it. I think this look deserves some extra credit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at the custom belt. Wow. <laughs> How is there tigers on that? Was that you, Roman? Of course. Roman! Yeah. You are having an orange moment. Do I look like a sexy traffic yeah. cone? Yes. Yeah. You don't look like a traffic cone, but you would stop traffic. That was good. I've never seen you wear boots. Those pants are beautiful. Yeah, these pants are amazing. No, I definitely didn't think I would like it. And do you? Yeah, everything about this is pretty stunning. You look like a very fashionable Japanese person. Yes, <laughs> that's what it is, wow. right? It makes sense because this is the most fashion forward and Japan is always like three and a half seasons ahead of us. This is just the coolest version of yourself. Such pretty guardians! Jack, will you come back to the stage, Jack? please? How do I look? Honestly, you do pull it off. Yeah? Fucking lit as shit. <laughs> Is lit as shit a thing? Because that's great. This is a beautiful moment, and I just want us to all appreciate that all three of us look way better than Eugene. Yeah, Eugene <laughs> looks terrible. You know, I know some really great ramen spots if you ever want me to show oh, you some. Oh, I know ramen spots. Hmm. Zachary, have you ever read Hemingway? I don't read. Don't. First thing we're going to do is take off all these accessories. Actually, those first. <laughs> take those over there. Dressing androgynous is such a beautiful thing. Cool the fish that's up over your shirt. Over the shirt? Having men wearing things that a typically feminine person would wear, hopefully it would open a new avenue of style for him because he does seem very confident. Excuse me, is this the nurse's office? Whoa. Because this look is sickening. Wow, what? Huh? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Very, like, Entrancing. I find it very beautiful and I don't understand it. Oh my god, you have double ear piercings. Now you're wearing makeup, but it works. Also, you have the giant boots on and then your hair just goes straight up. It's like you're seven feet tall. Wow, look at Whoa. that. <laughs> look at that. I can't be a bad boy when I'm this little. This is a cool jacket. It's got some really great details on it. The hood. I'm torn on the fishnets on the legs. Yeah, they're high-waisted fishnets. Do I look like... Tilda Swinton and Rihanna had an Asian baby. I feel the tilde. I see a tilde. You're having a tilde moment. You said it was gonna be an androgynous look. I expected it to be more foreign to me. I, mean, I think anyone could wear that and pull it off. Uh, yes. In high school, you try to stand out. You're trying to define who you are and you're trying to use your fashion. You're developing your personality. To have this strong of a look is such a statement. For all those high school boys out there ready to experiment, you got four new looks to play with. And they only cost $30,000. <laughs> <laughs> Style is so individual and is such a deep expression of oneself that many times a lot of people say they don't have style, but I think it's just that they haven't found it yet. We were lucky to find four young girls who have found their style and shared it with us. Throughout my life there have been things I wasn't confident enough to wear, and that's not a high school Zach thing, that's just a always new thing. And today has shown me that that is a restriction that I put on myself. Do it for how it makes you feel and how it like affects your personality, because maybe when you do things outside of the box, you could be rewarded for it. I think it's all about just surprising people with how you look. I was doing it with a negative way, but you can surprise people by looking cool. It's still just as effective. There's a lot of things that we might be wearing that you might not be personally comfortable with, 
but someone out there is, and I think that's what's important. If you're not cool in high school, if you don't dress like this, that is okay. But the fact that some high schoolers think like this is amazing. Grab some of your friends' clothes, put them on. See if you look hotter than them. Jack, give me some of your clothes. <laughs> School's out for summer, boys. All right, I hate school. At the end of the summer, I realized the world hadn't changed. I'd changed. Freeze frames! <laughs>